Okay guys, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a preview here of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. For, oh, actually, that was a really bad start. Sorry about that, guys. Let's do it again. Uh, I do tend to make a few mistakes when I'm talking. Uh, but right now, we just finished qualifying in the Grand Prix. And uh, I have a couple things to say about tomorrow's race. Uh, number one is that Azerbaijan is an absolutely gorgeous track. It's a gorgeous country. And uh, the scenery and the weather there is just, I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful to look at. Okay, I am using Valtteri Bo Botas because he did get pole position. And uh, I was watching his uh, qualifying lap, his pole position lap. Oh my God, <laughs> the guy can absolutely flat out drive. He's, he is amazing. He takes the corners so tight. I was just like right at the apex. He goes full throttle and he'll get so close to the wall. It's absolutely insane watching him. Um, he deserves pole position. Uh, he does drive the exact same car as Lewis Hamilton. So you can see given the same car, the times are within like, you know, a tenth of a second or less even from, uh, from each other. Uh, a couple other th interesting things to note is that uh, Robert Kubica did have a big accident right here at this corner, right there, in this uh, right next to the castle. That's the tightest corner on the track, so that was a. Uh, We're looking good from the start. That was one of the interesting things that happened. Also, Charles Leclerc did have an accident, uh, and it took him out of uh, I believe Q3. And so therefore, uh, since he did get through Q1 and Q2, he gets a top 10 position automatically and he's in 10th place. So that's a very big disappointment for Ferrari. Uh, this part here, you just have to really pay attention. I probably should actually increase the downforce here so I can make the turns. But anyway, uh, I did go full throttle through those four turns at the end huge long straight right here there's the end of the track going into turn one where you do get a lot of action a lot of overtaking collisions right now I'm in p2 I'm not ten, not gaining a lot of ground on him I try to go can't make it look like Valtteri Botas in real life he actually gets so close to the wall there it's it's amazing to look at he's just such a great driver if you guys don't know he did win the Australian Grand Prix this year completely deserved it just the way he uses the full track, it's amazing. I'm trying to emulate him a little bit right there. I did get closer to the wall. He he just seems to get within, oh, I don't know. Let's say, oh, that was terrible. He does, he seems to get to within maybe eight inches of the wall or less. Sometimes it's just amazing to watch him. You have to break a little bit early here. They did have a couple accidents here. That, that's just such a narrow gap. I am getting better at that turn. It does take a lot of practice. Um, if you notice in Q1, Q2, Q3 uh, this weekend, the times were getting better and better. Ferrari did start out very strong. They did have a uh, position one and two. You have to break early there. Otherwise, you will hit that wall. Okay, the last big turn as far as the drivers are concerned. And like I said, right through these four curves, you just really concentrate on making sure you get the turns right. Whoa, wow. Nudge that wall, just barely glanced it. I have had accidents in that wall before. Um, and that's due to wanting to go uh, full throttle through there. You are supposed to go full throttle if you want increased times. Good job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Unfortunately, I'm still not catching up to P1. I would like to win this race while I do a little review of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Uh, hope you guys watch it tomorrow morning. I do plan on watching it myself. I just wish I could get, uh, get this car to look like his uh, pole position lap. If you guys get a chance on YouTube, please check out his pole position lap. His qualifying lap, it was... It was absolutely stunning to watch how he handles this track. He, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins the race tomorrow. He just looks so good. Of course, uh, there's 19 other guys on the grid that do want to win the race also. 
I'm breaking a little bit early here. I'm going to break a little bit early here too because there was two accidents here over the weekend. And like I said, I am getting a lot better. And you see how I didn't lose time going through the castle on, uh, on this guy here. Okay, I was trying to go full throttle, but it's really difficult. This turn here, I tend to lose a little bit of time. Uh, I did glance the uh, retaining wall there. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch him. There's just not enough curves left. And it's all straight away and full throttle. But uh, at least I didn't lose any more time on him. But I do want to concentrate through these last turns. See if I can make it. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's a tough curve. Second to last curve. All straight away to the uh, final track. Anyway, thank you guys for watching my video. Hopefully you guys enjoy the race tomorrow. And please like, share, and subscribe. And I will do some... Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. I will do some afterthoughts of the race after the race is over. And thank you guys for watching. See you later.